return a structure from a function and i will also show you use of type def which i have discussed in the video prior to this so type def struct student underscore info then i can have just two members because the concept is more important rather than the data elements so name character then i have int as age all right then what i am doing here is before terminating i am saying student info so this now will re wherever instead of typing struct space student info i can just use yes info so what i am going to do here is i am going to have a function called as read data and the name of the let me make this underscore so it's more clear read data and i can say yes info and i can say student all right i'm returning a structure so it should be no parameter is required because i'm returning something all right so this is yes read data this thing now let us say i declare a variable of the type student underscore info let's say the name of the person is amar all right so amar is the variable name of this particular type of a structure now what i can do is i can ask the person enter the name and age all right so i'm going to ask you to enter the name and age using scanf what i can do is i can say percentage s space percentage d and then i can say uh, amar dot name so let's say we're going to enter the name amar and address of amar dot age all right so then what i can do is i can say return all right return is already popped up here I'm going to say return and I'm going to say Amar. Now this Amar is going to be captured or going to be stored in main. Now in main what I'm going to do is I'm going to just declare a variable called yes, yes info and I'm going to say some sample or let me give it some meaningful name. Let's say give it the name yes data. All right. And here what I'm going to do here is I'm simply going to call the function read data. All right. Without any parameters and since it's returning a structure i am going to say yes data is assigned read data the return value of read data function and here i can simply do a little bit jugard in the sense copy this and just substitute a few things instead of saying name things enter the name i'm just going to say name and age are going to be shown instead of amar here i'll have yes data dot name and this address sign will go off and it will be yes data dot age all right and then as usual i have a return zero return zero is a good practice to give although the compiler will not give you an error or a warning if you don't give it because by default it substitutes it for you in c99 so let me try to explain this code first before we try to execute it i have defined a struct student info containing name and age since i had done a type def discussion before this video i have used the type def struct student underscore info so wherever there is a struct student underscore info it can be replaced with yes info so if i want to declare a variable of this particular structure type i just need to say yes info and the variable name amar so amar is a variable of this structure type now when i am asking the user to enter the name and age and the user is going to enter, I should not put space in scanf, the user is going to enter name and he's going to enter the age. So that is going to be stored in this structure variable called as amar. Amar.name is going to contain the name I enter, amar.age is going to contain the age I enter. Now, just like you have a normal variable like int float, a structure variable is also a variable except that it has a collection of different data types. So when I say return amar, in main I have defined a variable yes data of yes info type so i'm calling read data without any parameters it is returning this amar the amar is going to be assigned to yes data just like a normal integer float value it's assigned to yes data and i can simply print the name and age like this so if i print yes data dot name whatever name i have entered will be printed if i enter yes data dot age whatever age i have entered is going to be printed so now what i can do is i can just copy this and try to execute and see if this really works all right so let's paste this and let's pray that it really compiles and runs all right okay there's some data error i have done uh, let me correct that let's not proceed because that's not a good idea it was on line 14 
I hope okay amar dot age percentage this thing I was not able to see the error all right let me write pre-compile it all right 23 the error was on line 23 so here it is oh instead of printf I have done a scan f. so this should be printf sorry to try to make changes while running it's going to give you a problem so just change this in from printf to sorry from scanf to printf and that should be all fine so now program should compile fine and let it run so enter the name and age let's enter the name as amar and let's say his age is 20 years now all right so now it should print in the main function it should print amar and 20 so here if you see it's printed amar and 20 and i inputted as amar and 20 it printed as amar and 20 as the output so i hope you understand what we're doing here we have declared using type def a structure with this particular members name and age then I have sinfo as a variable. Sorry, I have sinfo which represents struct space student underscore info. Then read data. I have defined amar as a variable of this particular type of the structure. So I am entering name and age into this amar structure variable. And then when I am returning amar, after calling read data in main, Amar is returned and Amar gets assigned to yes data which has been declared as a variable of the type student info in main and I am printing name and age here it's printing name and age so just be careful about a few things if you try to bring this particular fellow down all right you're going to have problem of saying redeclaration of yes info it's going to say implicit declaration of read data so if you want to avoid that if you want to keep it down just copy this Okay, after the declaration of this particular structure, you just be sure you can do it. Now, since you have declared the prototype, you should be fine. So, let's enter Rajan, let's say age as 33. So, now if you see it's printed Rajan 33. So, you should understand a few important things. If you are using the structure even as a parameter in a function, before showing the blueprint of the structure, the compiler will warn you. If you are typing any code, after main be sure you give the prototype of that particular function but if it is using any of this structure as a parameter only after the declaration of the structure parameter it should come here because i am using s info based on type def so this s info or the prototype declaration of read underscore data should be after this type def declaration